What's up everybody, I'm back at y'all with another video now for this one, where we're going to be talking about Fast and Furious 9. Now there's some more details, um, and stuff about it, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Now, this franchise is more than just an ordinary action franchise to me, um, some people keep saying they should stop, they should stop, me? I think they should make it all the way up to 10, you know? But there's going to be some spinoffs along the way. So, we're getting three different spinoffs, and we're also getting Fast and Furious 9 and 10. So, yeah, um, I love this franchise to death. You know, I love this whole franchise. From the first one on up, love this whole franchise. And, um, and there's going to be some new cast members. And Fast and Furious 9. Um, we got Michael Brooke, Rooker. Yeah, I think his name is Michael Rooker, which is he played in a lot of movies. I've seen him in a lot of movies. He played in um, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. He's played in um, he's played in that movie called Replica with John Carl Van Damme in it. You know, he played the cop. Uh, Michael Rooker played the cop. And... He, um, and he also played in that movie Slither. Those are basically the movies seen him in. Oh, I think I seen him in Skeleton Man. I think he played in a scene in that movie too. I gotta watch that movie again. I seen that movie in a while, but I think he played in that movie too. He played in a lot of movies. And I can't wait to see his role in, um, Fast and Furious 9. And they cast in this other UFC fighter. Um, I forgot this guy's name. Um, but, yeah, so, that means we're probably going to get a lot of good fight scenes in Fast and Furious 9. A lot of great ones. And I'm excited for that. And the way the behind-the-scenes shot that they did, you know, you've seen little behind-the-scenes shots. Not spoiling anything. It ain't spoiling nothing. So, don't worry about it. But, like, they've been posting little updates on Facebook. The Fast and Furious team and stuff have. And and the shows, you know, um, Tyrese Gibson, this like photo thing, whatever they was doing for like an intense scene, supposedly like a serious type scene. And um, which I cannot wait for that. This film might be awesome. This film's gonna be good because you know you gotta have some seriousness and Fast and Furious too. Like, like I could not. A few, there was a few s serious scenes in Fast 8, like the one scene where Cypher actually, well, Cypher made that, um, right at a guy, Rhodes, shoot and kill, um, Elena, so, that was a serious scene, so, you gotta have serious scenes sprinkled in the film, with the good story, because, you know, how is it gonna be a good story if you don't got no serious moments? And, um, Fast and Furious is more than just an action franchise to me. It really is. That's probably one of my favorite action franchises of all time. It is my a favorite action franchise of all time. It really is. And, um, Avengers is my second, you know. Avengers is my second favorite. But my number one favorite action franchise is the Fast and Furious franchise. <laughs> Without a doubt. Now, I bet you when that Fast and Furious 9 trailer drops... Which is, we got a lot of months for that, but when that day, when that shit drops, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna probably be like, holy shit, you know, like I was when I first seen the Fast 8 trailer a long time ago, a few years back when it first came out, I was like, I was excited for it, I wanted to go see it right then and there, because it looked so good, that's what Fast 9 trailers are gonna probably do, and I know this film's gonna have action from start to finish, because that's what this franchise does. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Like, they'll put action from start to finish, and they'll have a great story with the franchise. Fast 8 had a great story. It had a phenomenal story. Love it. I love Fast 8. I love Fury 7. I love Fast 8. They both have a great story. I don't care what you say. Like, yes, Fury 7 had a revenge-type story to it. To the plot. But not every film was based upon that, you know. 
really, it wasn't. Not every film was based upon it. It is something a little different each time. Like Fast Fury 6, they found out Letty was still alive. You know, you've seen that at the end credit scene at the end of Fast 5, if you go back and look. There was like a credit scene when they found out Letty was still alive. And that got you ready. <coughs> Excuse me. They got you ready for Fury 7. If you're seven, you know, of course they had to have at least one simple plot, a, a revenge plot, you know, didn't state them once, revenge of the team who tried to kill, almost killed his brother, and they also wanted revenge, the team also wanted revenge for, to save them, you know, Decker Shaw for killing Han, so yeah, um, they, they couldn't do the same thing over and over again, so they had, they had to have some type of plot, you know, so they, that was a good plot to me, and I liked that plot, and then plus, it had a lot of action, it had a lot of badass fight scenes, loved it, I love Fury 7, it had a lot of badass fight scenes, and then you also showed love for Paul Walker in the film, and then Fast 8, they showed quite a love for Paul Walker, they showed love for Paul Walker, and, um, you, you've seen, you know, Brian O'Connor's name, Sprinkle in the film. They talked about it a few times in Fast 8. But the only issue I have with Hobbs and Shaw is they didn't mention Brian O'Connor. I know it's a spinoff. But, you know, Paul Walker passed away, right? You should still show love for him because even though it's, this movie's a spinoff, it's still part of the franchise. Hobbs and Shaw is. And, um, and I'm excited for Fast and Furious 9. <coughs> that is going to be amazing. I know it is, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And it's going to be a big movie. It's going to be a huge movie. You know, you got the Marvel fans that just love Marvel movies. That you got those Marvel fans that hate Fast and Furious. Um, and it's great because you got fans of Fast and Furious franchise too, like, like you got fans like me that love this franchise as much as a lot of people love Marvel. So you got the Fast and Furious fans, you got them fans. Fast and Furious has everything. Racing, gun shooting, freaking fist fighting, martial arts, all of it, you name it, this franchise has it. Explosions. What more do you want in this franchise? Please tell me. People keep saying, oh, it's over the top. It's too blah, blah, blah. This franchise has the most action I've ever seen in the movie. And guess what? It's PG-13. Isn't that some crazy shit? And it has m more action than most rated R films <laughs> these days. It really does. You got a lot of classic, you know, um, classic martial arts movies and stuff that has a lot of action. You got some classic movies that have all of that in it. And it's rated R, but but this day, you don't get that as much. Probably with John Wick you do. John Wick one, two. Three I haven't seen number three yet. I gotta get it. I haven't seen number three yet, but like a lot of people keep a lot of people keep saying they don't want they wouldn't want Keanu really playing fast fish cause you ruined no, not ruin the franchise, but like, because it ruined Keanu Reeves' career because of stupid action and fast Y'all don't understand, like, people don't understand what kind of franchise this is. To me, it's an amazing franchise. I could watch this franchise over and over again. I love Fast 8, Fierce and Fast 8, love them films. I love all the Fast and Fierce films. I could watch them all over and over and over and over and over again. Literally, <coughs> Fury 7 first came out in a the theater. After I watched it, I, I was like, I got to buy this movie right now, basically. And as soon as it came on DVD, came on DVD, I watched that film constantly. Over and over and over and over and over again. And over and over again. And I still love it to this day. Fast Day sort of like that, too. And I cannot wait to see what they're going to do in Fast 
in Beer Stein. And Michael Rooker, I heard that he's going to play like a mystery character. And his name's going to be Buddy in the movie. So, I guess we'll find out when we see the movie. But I'm excited for this film. It's going to be good. I got a feel it's going to be good. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited. And I'm a Dollar Fast and Fierce fan. Like, literally. Because I remember when I, when I saw Fast and Fierce 6 in theaters. One of my favorite movies of the year. And then Fear 7 came along. I was like, holy shit, this movie's badass from start to finish. I loved every second of it. And everything else. And it was emotional also. Fast State was sort of emotional at times too. It had some serious moments. Even though they had some dumb action in this franchise, they still sprinkle, you know, little serious moments in the films. And this franchise, I don't think no other franchise could probably top Fast and Furious, at least in my opinion. Except Avengers, of course. You know, I love the Avengers films a lot. Like, that's like my second favorite franchise behind Fast and Furious is the Avengers. My second favorite franchise um, behind Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious is my number one favorite action franchise because I grew up watching all these films. And, um, you know, us Fast and Furious fans, I'm one of them Fast and Furious fans that care what happens about these characters, just like Marvel fans do, care about those characters a lot, and what happens to those characters. So, so you know, we're going to face some challenges in Fast and Furious 9 and 10. I got a feeling somebody's going to die in those films. Somebody's going to die in those films. I don't know who. I really don't know who. But if I had to guess who's going to die in Fast and Furious 9. <laughs> it's probably. Maybe Roman Pierce. I don't know. One of the main characters is going to die. In some of these films. The last two films. And. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if Dom is up dying. At the end of Fast 10. Since it's the final one in the franchise. And stuff, so yeah, I'm excited for those next two spinoffs because we got two more spinoffs coming out. Because you know, Hobbs and Shaw that's one of the spinoffs, so you know, so that was out of theater. So we got two more spinoffs to look forward to, and then we also got Fast and Furious 9 and 10 to look forward to to complete the universe of Fast and Furious. And I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this franchise. I'm excited. There's lots to come and there's lots to expect in this beloved franchise that Fast and Furious fans love. So I'm excited for Fast 9. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share. And also with the bell, so you know when the video is uploaded. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'm out. Peace.